Okay, remember this? This was our Toyota ECM. That was a 200 megahertz core processor and there a bunch of other stuff. This cost me over $1,000 Canadian or $750 US to be able to buy, right? And, you know, while it may serve its purpose, it's got antiquated chips in it. It's really expensive and you shouldn't have to do that. So the goal of our EVOS project, and by the way, the goal isn't to build an EV. The goal is to build a control platform that the modern do-it-yourselfer can use and not have to spend oodles amount of money to be able to do it, okay? So first thing is we got a new processor. We got ourselves a Teensy RISC 600 megahertz processor. Uh, if you are a member on our Buy Me A Coffee website, uh, it's going to be posted there for people who are in the um, early adopter, or sorry, the early fabricator uh, membership level. And as you can see, this processor has quite a bit performance difference. I know that's kind of a real chintzy drawing, but uh, to give you an idea, it's many times more powerful than the the, process, the brains of that Toyota processor, right? But if you're in our uh, Buy Me A Coffee membership, you'll be able to see the links for these particular boards so you can follow along. Uh, as well, we're gonna use this ESP32 S3 board. Now its sole purpose is just to be able to build us a a display module that we can put out on a display. Now, rather than putting a big expensive touchscreen in the car right now, we're just gonna use like a tablet or a PC, something we already have to be the display. So this will create a, a web server that will allow us to show or have all the display metrics on it. And then we can just connect by either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to be able to pull those metrics up. So, and then last but not least, um, we've chosen some CAN modules. Now, I don't know if you guys know what CAN modules are, but they are um, the way that a lot of these uh, automotive systems communicate. And you need modules that are able to understand that to make that work. So we bought these two modules. The intention is one of those modules will be used to talk to our existing vehicles bus, and then the other one will be used to talk to our new EREV range extended hybrid um, system so our charging module our batteries our electric motor that type of stuff so basically connecting the old to the new so like i said if you want to follow along the bill of materials are posted on our buy me a coffee website as long as you uh pick the uh at least the early fabricator anything early fabricator or higher um membership levels will be able to get this and uh like i said if nothing else uh subscribe and watch the rest of the journey so We'll share the, the steps as we go along. The, the parts are in transit, so hopefully we'll be able to get this going soon. So see you in the next one.